بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. As we discussed before, leaving behind a righteous legacy is imperative. And that the person who is plagued with the sickness or disease of domestic violence and uh, these kind of uh, illnesses, they should seek help. Seek help from the community, seek help from those people who have knowledge about those things, those uh, counselors, those people who specialize in that. Never be ashamed to seek help. Seek help for, for that sickness before it spreads, before it spreads to your children, for it causes a greater harm. Perhaps it could end in, in the death of your spouse or the death of you. Perhaps it could lead into a greater type of violence and something, some other illness or spreading that disease to your children, that your children take on that legacy, that they witness that violence in their home and they continue to have violence and make violence in their homes. So seek help for that sickness and try to have a righteous legacy. Try to do righteous deeds in your life. Let's listen to this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, which should scare us from leaving a wicked legacy, which should scare us from dying in a state of having been a violent person and a wicked person and a sinful person and a person who causes harm to others and oppresses others. On Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يبعث كل عبد على ما مات عليه رواه مسلم the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said as was narrated by Jabir رضي الله تعالى عنه may Allah be pleased with him he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that every servant will be resurrected on what they were upon in this life what they died upon. So if you died being a violent abuser of your spouse, do you want to be resurrected in front of your Lord in that state? If you died by suicide, killing yourself, do you want to be resurrected before your Lord in that, in that way as the Prophet Sallallahu said, the person who dies kills them by killing themselves, they will be in the hellfire killing themselves over and over by that same way. If they kill themselves with a knife, they will have a knife and they will be killing themselves. If they kill themselves with a pistol, they will have a pistol and be killing themselves in the hellfire. The point being, you don't want to die in that state. Seek help if you need it. And so we want to die in a righteous state and may Allah bless us with that. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.